Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Big data has changed the way we manage data. Relational database management systems were the go-to for storing structured data. They were perfect for a client-server business application. Such relational databases are classic because they follow the ACID properties rigidly, which implies that a database is built to be atomic, consistent, isolated, and durable. While the classic model of databases provides consistency, sometimes it's not able to scale large amounts of unstructured data. At least it couldn't do that cost effectively. So next came no SQL solutions because engineering teams couldn't keep using the same non-effective servers constantly. MongoDB and DynamoDB are both NoSQL database solutions that carry their fair share of pros and cons. So if you're battling over using one but can't decide, then you're in the right place because we're going to talk about some of the differences between the two. But before we do, let's have a look at what NoSQL databases really entail. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know by leaving a comment in the comments section down below. Now let's jump into it. So what is NoSQL? NoSQL database solutions were born out of the necessity for a database that processed unstructured data properly and without spending a lot of monetary resources. They're cost-effective solutions for the complicated storage of different types of data. In fact, that's the unique selling point of NoSQL. It can store a variety of unstructured data without burning a hole in your pocket. So this means that NoSQL databases have a spectrum of options for managing data. So for example, it can be stored in a column-like design or document, graph, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this meant various implications for how data is stored on a NoSQL compared to an SQL database, such as NoSQL allows you to create documents without the initial input of structured data. NoSQL also lets each document have a unique dynamic design. So you don't have to deal with the same old designs of an SQL database anymore. Also with NoSQL, the syntax can be different and also it allows you to manifest fields on the go. Now MongoDB and DynamoDB are both NoSQL database solutions, but which one should you go for? And to answer that question, we have to go over their features so that you can make an informed decision. But first we have to understand what they are. So what exactly is MongoDB? MongoDB is an open source database solution that was launched in 2009 by MongoDB Inc. It's a non-tubular database with a document data system, which is supposedly the best way to work with data. And while that's not necessarily a fact, it does have its own charm. MongoDB works with a multiple model design, which means that they can store the data where you want it. Also, you can run MongoDB from anywhere. This is especially important if you want to future-proof your work and omit the risk of vendor lock-in. One thing you need to know about MongoDB is that apart from being an open source database solution, it allows you to store data in document design. But this structure can change over time depending on the type of data. MongoDB Atlas, the fully managed cloud-based database service, was announced in 2016. As a database solution, MongoDB has a lot to offer, especially in terms of operational tasks and various built-in practices to work with for developers. Now let's have a look at what DynamoDB has in store for us. So what is DynamoDB? DynamoDB comes from Dynamo and SimpleDB. Dynamo was a key value store developed by Amazon to curb holiday outages on the e-commerce platform in 2004. And it got a lot of attention due to its operational complexity and trade-offs. The engineers at Amazon used their own NoSQL database service called SimpleDB, but they realized it had various limitations. Both SimpleDB and Dynamo had several shortcomings. So Amazon combined the idea of a cloud-based data service that relieves offload administration work with high performance, reliability, query, flexibility, and data consistency. Amazon launched DynamoDB to replace both SimpleDB and Dynamo in 2012 as part of their Amazon Web Services package. So now let's have a look at the differences between MongoDB and DynamoDB, starting with management. DynamoDB is a fully managed cloud-based database solution as part of AWS. This means that you won't have to worry about having a management team for your database. Everything gets taken care of by the service provider for you. 
They look over things like updating servers, replacing SSDs, configuration, software patching, hardware provisioning, et cetera, et cetera. It's perfect for low throughput applications. MongoDB Atlas, on the other hand, has a better infrastructure variety and managed sources. You would have the freedom to run it wherever you want, if not on the cloud. As a service, MongoDB can be deployed with AWS, Microsoft's Azure, and the Google Cloud Platform. If you're running a full-fledged data management operation, then MongoDB is perfect. Although for that, you need to have a strong developer team backing the operation. Backup. MongoDB provides on-demand, continuous, and snapshot backup solutions at an affordable price. And these are already managed with a file model. This allows you to access your data without having to restore it. DynamoDB doesn't offer snapshot backups. Plus, some of the configurations are not entirely backed up and need to be restructured manually. Querying. MongoDB comes with an exceptional query language, which means that you can search any queries using single keys, ranges, geospatial, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this is an advantage for MongoDB as opposed to DynamoDB, which has a maximum of two primary keys. Indexing. When it comes to indexing, MongoDB is a clear winner because the index is easy to develop and doesn't add any extra cast to your data management. DynamoDB is difficult to manage and has global secondary indexes that are not compatible with underlying data. They also only have a maximum of 20 global secondary indexes and five local secondary indexes per table. Data models. MongoDB takes the trophy here as well. It has a strong and consistent data presentation that can be accessed from wherever you are. Whereas DynamoDB only allows you to view data when the application is open. With MongoDB, the data is validated and ACID transactions are good to go for backups, indexes, or documents. Also, MongoDB allows a thousand system operations per transaction, which can be done within 60 seconds flat, whereas DynamoDB provides only 25 writes. So there we have it. MongoDB does take the lead over DynamoDB in most areas. However, certain things like throughput depend on the kind of application that you're running. So you should make the choice depending on your specific needs. So hopefully we helped you make the right decision when choosing between MongoDB and DynamoDB. Once again, if you enjoyed the video or found it interesting, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel. Also, you can let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.